Ready, get set. Good morning, everybody. Good morning. I'm currently about 45 minutes west of the Utah Colorado border on my way to Salt Lake City for four days of skiing. Originally, I was planning on just driving to Salt Lake today, sleeping in a little bit, and then making my way there throughout the day and then relaxing at our hotel tonight before skiing the next three days. But then I quickly realized that if I woke up a little earlier this morning, okay, a lot earlier, that I would be able to knock off another bucket list resort while I was there. Started driving from Denver this morning at 4 a.m. and it is currently 8.27 a.m. We still have about three and a half hours to get to Salt Lake. Plan going forward is I'm gonna finish fueling up at this gas station, grab a few snacks inside, and then make the rest of the three and a half hour trek to Brighton Ski Resort. Let's go. All right, gang, well, after about eight hours of pretty much nonstop driving from Golden, Colorado, I finally made it east of Salt Lake and we are at Brighton. And I gotta be honest, I was pretty tired for the last hour or so just because I was planning just to not get a coffee so that I could get up here and just save that much more time. But once you hit Cottonwood Canyon, those views just wake you right up. And now that we're finally at the base of Brighton Resort itself, I don't think coffee was even necessary. I'm going to change out of these clothes real quick, grab my ski gear, and we're going to get going. Alright gang, we're finally making our way up the mountain. I just jumped on the Millie Express, and I'm going to ride it all the way to the top and do a couple warm-up laps here on this side of the mountain. But I gotta say, it's a gorgeous bluebird day out right now, so we kinda just lucked out for weather. I believe the resort got a dusting of snow the last few days, but there isn't anything in the forecast as far as a big dump of snow or anything like that. So we're just gonna take in the day, enjoy these beautiful views, and uh, just see what we got. I've never been here before, like I said before, so let's just take it in.
Well, I just took three laps off the Millie Express, and I gotta say it right off the bat, although these runs are short, they are oh so sweet. For how small this resort is, there really is a wide variety of terrain, and I gotta say, if you are here and you love cliffs or a lot of exposed areas, you're gonna love Brighton. Only trouble I've had so far is almost getting taken out by a couple fern trees that are just kind of a little bit exposed um, throughout the snow here, but they definitely have enough coverage to do pretty much anything you want as far as like going all over this side of the resort. Right now I'm actually going to make my way over to the center side of the resort. I like the center village area. I don't know what you call it here, but I'm going to make my way over there off the Millie lift and uh, see what the other side of the resort looks like. But on the way there, it looks like there's some pretty sweet runs throughout this middle section that has like a bunch of deep gullies and a bunch of exposed rock that uh, I'm going to have to kind of get around in order to get over there. But I'm excited to explore the rest of the resort. Having a great day, and uh, all the vents are open. It is so warm right now, so I got no complaints. That's where we're going. Sheesh. To the left, to the left. So right now I'm actually on run number two of going through that double black gully section. I kept too far left and I went back to the Millie Express. So I rode it back to the top and I actually asked the lifty how to get back to the center village. And uh, he said there was a red sign somewhere that was called Crest. And you can take that and kind of do like a long catwalk. And he said to keep your speed. But I went all the way over pretty much to the far ski boundary. And all I can see below me is just deep double blacks right now. So. I'm just gonna take this down and see if I can't find the sign for Crest itself. But either way, these views up here are beautiful. Just another different dimension of the whole resort when you're standing up here, but I'm gonna try to find my way down to Center Village and then kind of go on the other side of the resort. Let's see if we can't make our way down. Oh, well, the good thing is, we got health insurance, but I don't really want to ruin myself on the first day here in Utah. So I'm going to kind of go at this over here and get down. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yo, there's the guy. Alright guys, so this made it to the top of Crest Express. And from here I'm going to try to do one run down this one and then actually go over to the Great Western Express and do a few more runs over there. I kind of got to wrap up my day really quick here because I got to go check in at the hotel. But I'm just loving every minute of this day. The great thing that I found out about this resort is there's actually quad lifts that go through pretty much every part of the terrain that's on the resort itself. So you don't have to do a lot of hikeable access spots to do a lot of off-piece skiing. Every quad lift that's here pretty much takes you to different terrain throughout the resort. So you don't have to do a lot of hikes in order to touch a little bit of terrain throughout the entire area. We're gonna head down Crest, get over to Western Express, see what new terrain we can't find.
All right, just finished up over at the Crest Express runs and now I'm making my way up the Great Western Express. Right off the bat, there's a sign at the bottom of this lift that says this whole area is double black and black runs throughout. So if you're over here and you want more intermittent runs like green or blue, you might want to head back over to the Crest Express area. I think I got a good one or two more runs to do at Brighton today. And I'm glad I actually ended over here because this seems to be some of the more harder terrain and uh, this seems to be where the highest peak is. Up here at the top, it's called Clayton Peak. And I'm hoping the views are amazing, but we're gonna do one or two more runs up here, make our way back down the mountain, and wrap up this day. Ready, get set. Man, you guys, that was an awesome day. Like I said, never been to Brighton before in my life. And this is only the second time I've actually come out to ski in Utah. And for how small of a resort Brighton is, I can see why everyone just loves coming here. There's so much variety of terrain. And actually, I'm gonna say this, they say that in Utah, this is where everyone learns to ski and snowboard. And I gotta say, if I were to ever learn to ski or snowboard at this resort, I think I'd be a lot better than what I am today because this terrain here is actually a lot more difficult than I thought it was gonna be. Sure, you have your groomers, a bunch of blue and green runs, but there is so much off-piece skiing and so much exposed cliffs that you can actually go off of if you don't pay attention enough. If there's only one thing I hate about going to a new resort, it's that if you go to a new place and you see a bunch of jumps or something like that that you see on the way down the mountain that you want to hit, be careful here because there might be a run or two that when you're going down and you see a jump, you might hit it and it may be a total sheer cliff. So be very, very careful when you ride here. Besides that, I have absolutely nothing negative to say about Brighton. This resort truly earns its name and reputation because I was so pumped to come out here and I thought maybe this is one of those resorts that you get built up for, for coming out and having a good time and then you might come and maybe slightly disappointed in some way. No, not at all. This place does not disappoint and it was an absolute blast to ride here. I'm gonna make my way back down Big Cottonwood Canyon right now and check into my hotel. And tomorrow I'm gonna have a buddy actually fly out from Denver and join me the rest of the weekend. And the fiance is actually flying out tomorrow night as well. So she's gonna be joining me skiing on Friday and Saturday. But I believe tomorrow, we're gonna be going to Alta, which is another resort I've never skied out here in Utah, but I hear nothing but good things. So I cannot wait to ski there tomorrow. But I think it's that time that I head back down and check into my hotel because my back is already hurting. I knew that if I went too hard today after an eight hour drive, I'd probably be a little sore and I definitely am. So I'm glad I got a place with a hot tub in it. I'm gonna go soak up in there for tonight, but I'll catch you guys on the next video. I just wanna thank you guys so much again for watching and I hope to see you oot in a boot. We'll see you on the next one.